What's going on guys? Sean Pierce here at my new studio, The Body Shop in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Uh, if you're watching this video, you want to learn different techniques on nose piercings. Um, this is not to be meant to try to do yourself at home. This is for professionals or people training in the art of body piercing. Okay, We're going to do diff two different types today. We're going to do a stud. I'm going to show you the most efficient way and the best way to do it. We're also going to do a hoop. Okay, I know a lot of people will sit there and say, oh, getting pierced with a hoop is not good to start. That's a bunch of bull, okay? I started mine with a hoop. I pierced tens of thousands with a hoop, no problems, okay? It's all on the aftercare and how you take care of it. So the first one we're gonna do is a stud. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do, of course, is make sure you have the proper tools, all right? You're gonna make sure you have an alcohol swab to swab the nose. You wanna have a receiving tube. That catches the needle when it goes through the skin so it doesn't poke any other part of the inside of the nose. You wanna make sure you have forceps to hold on to the jewelry. Makes life a lot easier, okay? As far as jewelry, some people wanna use a uh, nose screw, some people wanna use a nose bone. I urge you, do not use a nose bone. It's the worst jewelry to, to use, okay? A nose screw isn't bad, however, most of them only come in a certain size. People have different size noses. The thickness of their nose is different. So getting a fishtail and bending it to, to the size of their nose is the most suitable way to do a nose piercing, okay? You're gonna bend it into an L bend. Um, this way, if they ever have to take it out, it's very easy to take out, but it's also very easy to put in, okay? And this way, there's enough room on the nose piercing for swelling or in case, uh, you know, it slides back and forth. It's not too tight, the top won't sink in. You're gonna use an 18 gauge needle. Also, the top is very important in the beginning. Make sure the very top of it is not too small. When you first get a piercing, it's an open wound. Like any open wound, the skin is gonna be very soft. So any kind of pressure is gonna push the jewelry in if it's too small. And you're gonna notice that people are gonna say, oh, it's sinking in. That's because you pierced it too tight or the top of the jewelry is way too small. First thing we're gonna do is swab her nose, okay? What side are you getting? On the other side? She already has it on one side. All right, so this is kind of good because I'm gonna show you guys how to measure it properly for a double nose piercing. So we're gonna do a stud on this side. The alcohol dry while you get everything else prepared. Now when you bend it, you always wanna make sure you look at the thickness of their nose. Did you know? Her nose really isn't that thick, so we're gonna go about right there, bend it into an L, just like that. Then get it all set so you can slide it right in. When it comes to marking it, you want them to look down. Okay, there's two different ways to measure this, from a straight angle and from a top angle. That's the most efficient way to measure this. Make sure they're synonymous on both sides each time. Now, if you look from a front angle, they're both the same on each side. And look all the way down. And from a top angle, they're both the same. Because I promise you, if it's not even, they're going to let you know. They're the ones that have to look at it every day. So you want to make sure it's nice and even. Take your time if you have to. Erase the mark ten times if you have to. Invest the time to make sure it's nice and straight because your name is on that piercing. Easiest way to do this. Put the cork right here. Okay. Take the receiving tube just like that. A nice thin coat right on top of the needle. Put the receiving tube up. Big breath in, big breath out. Just like that. Perfectly done. Nose piercings should not bleed. If a nose piercing bleeds, a lot of piercers will use a much bigger needle than they're supposed to because they're afraid of losing contact with the jewelry. 18 gauge needle, 18 gauge jewelry, okay? There should not be any blood. Your client's most likely going to tear up most of the time, as most people do. I see a tear coming. Thanks. And put your chin up a little bit. If you can go and look, they're nice, synonymous on both sides. That's a perfect nose piercing right there. Next, we're gonna move over to the nose hoop, okay? Nose hoop is a little bit different. Not a lot, 
Just a little. Our dear friend and tattoo artist here at the body shop, Miss Allie, <laughs> already has a nose hoop on one side. So we're gonna do a double hoop, okay, on the same side. Measuring this is very important, okay? Otherwise, it will not look right. First thing we wanna do, swab our nose, okay? Now while that's drying, we'll get everything ready. When it comes to a nose hoop, I like to use a thin 20 gauge nose hoop, okay? It doesn't look gaudy, it's, it's very suitable for the nose. It looks the best. So of course you're gonna use a 20 gauge canola needle. A canola needle is a very important needle, okay? The needle goes through, and then when you pull the needle out, it leaves a small plastic sleeve that you could insert the jewelry to help push through. When you do this piercing, okay, especially with a hoop, some people will always spread it open to put the hoop in. That's not how you're supposed to open these, okay? You twist it to the side to open it. Now, when you're doing the piercing, chin up. Whichever side is closest to the inside of the nostril, you're gonna push forward. So on this one, you're gonna push it just like that. That's how open you should have it. When you put it in the clamp, or I'm sorry, the forcep, put it halfway, just like that. Now we're gonna make the mark. When you go to mark this, you wanna stay in the line with the bottom of the nostril. You see how it's lined just like that? you want to keep the same line right here. So now that'll be the perfect spot for her nose. We're going to take a very little bit of petroleum. Chop a little bit. Put your receiving tube right in there. Big breath in, big breath out. Push it all the way, pull the needle out. As you see, the plastic sleeve is sitting right there. You're gonna take that plastic sleeve. Grab onto that, and then you're just gonna twist it closed. You gotta make sure that it's perfectly closed right there. You can't have any kind of space between that, okay? If you have a space and it goes in between the nose, it'll close up between that space and they won't be able to twist it. As soon as you're done, twist it a little bit to the inside to conceal the gap. And right there is a double nose piercing, okay? These piercings should be very quick. It should not take a long time. You should not struggle, okay? Of course, if you're just learning, you're going to run into accidents. You're going to struggle sometimes. It takes getting used to. As far as aftercare, okay, as always, you're going to wash it once a day with a mild soap. Dove sensitive skin, best soap to use. Once a day. You're going to go ahead and get yourself Neomed's piercing and aftercare spray. Get the fine mist one, okay. You're going to spray it three times a day. You're going to spray it once on the outside, just like that, and a quick shot on the inside, all right. If you have any questions, any concerns, I always answer my questions from all of my subscribers and my followers, okay? You can uh, shoot me a message or DM me on Instagram at underscore Sean Pierce. Until next time, uh, I had to change the scene cause my life just like move. Bitch, in the streets turn to a fighter, how can you be?